Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. And um, do not let the arrangements to confuse you. x to the power of 3 minus 10 equals minus x. Okay, the first step is to collect like terms, right? So we have x to the power of 3 plus x. Then here I have minus 10 being equal to 0. Simple, isn't it? Okay, and then from here we have x to the power of 3 plus x minus open bracket 8 plus 2 equal to 0. What I have done is to break 10 into 2. Now open the bracket. So I have x to the power of 3 plus x minus 8 minus 2 equal to 0. Remember, if you put these two together, you will still have minus 10, right? Okay, so x to the power of 3 plus x minus 8 is 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. At this point, we can regroup, right? So we have x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 together. Then plus here we have x and minus 2 together, giving us 0. Now we have um, x to the power 3 and 2 to the power 3. Apply this standard minus 2 to the power of 3 and this is equal to a okay let's make this b a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared right so as it is now our a is x and our b is 2 so a minus b is x minus 2 into a squared will be x squared plus a b will be x times 2 which is 2x then plus b squared which will be 2 squared close that then I have plus open bracket x minus 2 right and this is equal to 0 now at this point what do I do I have common factors I have to factor it out so we have x minus 2 out as the common factor then into here we have x squared okay let me have this x squared plus 2x plus 4 right okay this is what we have then plus here we are going to have just one okay let me have this as a different bracket and then everything is equal to 0, right? Okay, so now x minus 2, the common factor. Then here we have x squared plus 2x plus 4 plus 1, 5. Close this and this is equal to 0. If I proceed, x minus 2 is either equal to 0 or x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. What I'm doing is to apply 0 product rule. It's either one of them is equal to 0 or both of them are equal to 0. Now, from the first line, from this linear equation, x minus 2 equals 0, meaning that x is equal to 0 plus 2 and x is equal to 2. This is the first value of x that we can call x1. Now to get the other values of x, you go back to the quadratic equation over there where we have x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. And then what is the formula, what's the method we will use to solve this? We will use the formula method because we will not be able to factorize this. To use the formula method, I will um, say that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared 
minus 4ac and this is over 2 because our minus b our, our b is 2 our a is 1 the coefficient of x squared and c is a constant which is 5 to put this into the equation we have x equal to minus 2 plus or minus then we have 2 squares minus 4 times 1 because a is 1 a is 1 then multiply by c which is um, 5 and then this is over 2 times 1 so if I continue from here then I have okay so this is what I have and x from here will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus negative 16 over 2 so our x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus we have from um, square root of 16 multiplied by square root of negative 1 over 2 what I did there is trying to bring out the trying to bring out the negative right so it's out now and x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 and square root of negative 1 is i this is over 2 right and then remember that 2 can go there and it can go here so or by the way we factor out 2 as the common factor then I have this is minus 1 plus or minus we have 2i because 2 has come out close this and everything is over 2 this can go with that so we are having x to be equal to minus 1 plus 2 plus or minus 2i and this is a 2 in 1 solution now let's bring our 3 solutions together very quickly we had x1 before which is equal to 2 and um, we are having x2 now from this solution which is minus 1 plus 2i this will be our x2 right then to get our x3 we will still pick it from here because this is a 2 in 1 solution we have minus 1 but this time around negative 2 I. So these are the three solutions to the equation, right? But then it is only one of these solutions that is the real solution. The other two, x2 and x3, are complex solutions. Thank you for watching.